So what you're telling me is I've won the friends over, but I haven't won her over. Definitely. But from my experience, that's all you need. Hello, I'm Sean Bogle, and this is The Man View, where we talk about topics from a man's point of view. Joining me is Solomon Ish, Matthew Allen Huss, Marshall June, and Mikey. Oh, Hello, we are the Man Viewers. What up, YouTube? How you doing? How's it going? I had nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna start off today by introducing Matt's Schindler's List. Ooh, dun dun dun. Intriguing. Uh, today's list is entitled "The Top Ten Reasons I'm Glad I'm a Man." It's true. Number ten, double standards. I think we all can agree that there are, in fact, double standards placed on men and women, and although they're officially wrong, and I love women, um, for the record, um, they're in our favor. So, yeah. <laughs> for men, great for us. Um, number nine, uh, once a month, we don't have to experience a special pain, unless, of course, we are dating someone who is experiencing pain, to share it with us. So, let me just flow right on in to number eight. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, period. Um, <laughs> muscles. Not that women can't have muscles, uh, but when a man has muscles, it can generally be considered more attractive or a mark of, of beauty. But when we're talking like Miss Universe, it is super ugly. Now, no offense to Miss Universe. In fact, I'd like to encourage you, if you're watching us, Miss Universe, that um, I would officially like to extend a challenge um, where I think it'd be kind of fun if all of the man you got together and wrestled Miss Universe for charity. Oh. So if you, if you are watching us, um, we would totally like you to Pit us to the floor. Um, no. <laughs> he also called you ugly. <coughs> no, I said most. <laughs> Number seven. Um, easy wardrobe. Everything we wear can match. I mean, it's pretty simple. We got the, the, the shirt and pants. There's none of the skirt and these accessories and the, the jewelry and the earrings oh, really? and all this. Yeah, but like, did you, how much thought did you put into? Does my yeah. orange lantern ring match my outfit? Yeah. No, it's an orange lantern ring, so you just wore it. <laughs> Same with the... the indigo. Is it blue or purple? It's indigo. It's indigo. indigo. Okay. Awesome. Nerd <laughs> so, uh, shout out. So, uh, what about, um, muscles? Seven. No, we're on seven. Easy work stroke. Eight, six. We, we already um, said. Yeah. Six. Oh, the yeah. sniff test, though. We're also allowed to, you know, just go in. All right, this is clean. And put it on. Number six. Girls. Women. I mean, um, it's totally acceptable for me to enjoy yes. women. I love the fact that everything on this list I can experience as a man, but I definitely want the person I'm into to not do anything on this list, except for, it's true. you know, maybe adhere to the double, sam the double standards and make me a sandwich, I think I... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, even though men are sometimes a double better. Sandwich. I, I wouldn't be fine with a double sandwich. We are so much better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number five, vocab. I'm not going to say any of the words here, because you're going to try to strive for a very family-friendly atmosphere as best we can. Um, but uh, there's a lot of words men are allowed to use that if a woman were to use it, she's straight up vulgar, and there's something wrong with her. When a man yeah. uses it, he's just being a boy. Yeah. Unladylike. Ladylike, if you will. Yeah. Uh, number four, farts. Um, women fart. This is an, uh, a horrible thing I had to, to realize. Horrible reality. I mean, spoiler alert, she does fart. <laughs> um, she doesn't, she does. But, yeah, sometimes. But we're allowed to do it, we're allowed to enjoy it, we're allowed to experience it. Um, there are more games I learned in junior <laughs> high and elementary school that had to do with someone just farted than any other topic in the world. That's true. Don't um, yeah. yeah. The, there's the counting <laughs> one, and the letters, and the alphabets, yeah. and you have to eat them, and it's all kinds oh, of... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're eating it. Yeah, yeah that's that's about that's about that's about that's about, yeah. Uh, number three is urination. Not that we get to, to pee. I'm actually, it actually upsets me that we have to because... I hate having to stand up, you know, to, to pee. I don't dislike it. But um, the fact, the truth is, we can stand up to pee, and we can do it anywhere we want. Um, I mean, I guess technically, if I were to do it right now and, and film it, this would not be posted. That might be unacceptable. Please don't yes. do it wherever you want to be. <laughs> but I, mean, I, I could. The, the possibility is, is, is there. there. Number two is my personal favorite. Um, men are allowed to be shirtless. This is true. And I love being shirtless um, more than anything in my life. This is um, true too. I love being shirtless more than I love my, my fiance. So <laughs> I'm surprised he's not shirtless now. <laughs> well, I was told not to uh, by you guys. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, number one is actually uh, what we're going to talk about today. And so I'm going to save that for after the break. Mm. John? Yes? You want to lead us? Dun, dun. We're going to go to the break for Tonto's room. Okay. Tonto's Tonto says, never put native 
in charge of immigration. Look what happened, 1492. And he says, of course I don't own my home. I'm Native American. <laughs> Hey guys. Oh, Marshall. Marshall. What are we talking about? Um, politics. Yeah. And you're native. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, the fact that Marshall's native. Really great fact. That's a, that's a horrible segue, but <laughs> <laughs> welcome back what? to the man view. You know, Marshall, I really liked how you read that uh lots no, of people. So welcome skin. back. Um, red, got it. Uh, <laughs> and, and, Zing. Um, so Alright, what's the most number one in the man list? Well, number one in the man list, I uh, have no reservations about Marshall. And, um, it actually has a lot to do with the fact that you're native. Kind of. You'll see. Number one is, is what I like to call the man relationship. And uh, first off, for the record, I'm not being against any race, creed, or belief of people in the world, or animals, I guess, if you're watching dolphins. But um, um, like, I love Marshall, you know? And like, our teasing and our jesting is acceptable as men. Yeah. Now, I, I do think there's a way to totally diss a man when you're not his friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, of course, it's, if I were to, you know, go up to our camera person like I did the other day and say some of the things I've said to you guys and insulted her, she thinks I'm insulting her. And she hit me. That's yeah. true. And she did. Now, now here's not the weird thing. Again. When I insult Mikey, he hits me. But the hit is different. It's like a, I love you. You know, <laughs> it's not this, I'm a woman, Good so I'm going to hit you. Oh. Yeah. Like, even that, the abuse, like, and that is our, our topic, I thought, for today. Yeah. Yeah, so topic. talk about man friends. I do really, really very much enjoy man relationships. Oh, Because, totally. like, yeah. there's, this, there's this understanding we have where we can insult each other, be mean to each other, make jokes about each other, make jokes with each other, and it still comes back to, we're really good friends. We can have a serious conversation and, you know, be really close and yeah, find like, each other's there's hearts. There's, like, no real hard feelings. And even when you guys do the stereotypical thing, which, I mean, let's face it, I'm, like, the only native in the theater department, and... It proves for some good fun, but I'm okay with it, and because it's like I don't take it personal. It's like you guys can yeah, barter me, yeah. whatever, and then after it's like, hey, let's go. Uh, like one of my favorite quotes is, uh, "Men are friends until they become enemies, yeah. and women are enemies until they become friends." It's totally true. <laughs> it's completely true. Yeah. Like, and you know what the weird thing is? Is when you're being friends with a woman, the woman rule applies in that case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like. She follows the woman standards of friendship, even though you're another guy. Well, it's almost because, like, you know what I mean? yeah. the men friendship is disgusting to women. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it's almost offensive. Yeah. I get it. Like, like, here's the thing. I have, I have a better committed relationship with you guys than I do any girl. Uh, no, hey. but, like, you brought up uh, actually something interesting about men and female relationships, and that's, even that in a sense, I, personally, I really don't believe in men and women friendships. I mean, they do exist, but for the most part, when you're in a relationship with a woman, it kind of tends to go that direction. I almost, I almost, yeah. even, I almost even want to say like I hardly have friendships with women unless I'm looking to date them. That's true, true. and that's that's essentially what I was getting at. And, and I, I would disrespectfully disagree with you guys. Disrespectfully, I'm disagree. disrespectfully disagree with you guys because me, I look for friendships. In women as well as men oh. on the same level. Like I'm not going to talk to a chick just to be like, oh, you know what? But I will say this. No, if I, you are fine. That increases your chance of me talking to you. <laughs> so, anyways, one of the other things is, and you'll see this a lot on the man view, so I feel it's important that we talk about this. Mm -hmm. When we're just hanging out, and we, we try to fix this a little bit while we're being professional and on, on, on air for you guys, but uh, the, the truth of the matter is, we can have a conversation with each other, and it's heated and debated, and none of us agree, and we're yeah, yelling, yeah, sure. and I'm talking. And I'm in the middle of my point, and Solomon pipes up with his point. We will listen to his point, and then I'll finish my point. And my, like, there's this interweaving of yelling that sure. goes on. Mm -hmm. But we understand it. But none of us are like, you totally interrupt me. Yeah. Tom. Yeah. It's like, all right. Uh, and we, we can some, now, not, now, a lot of people will say that a woman can listen better. However, this, I mean, no offense to this, but a man has the ability to listen to, to, listen to like 20 conversations and yeah, input true. and understand every different level. Well, I mean, like, you know what I mean? And you can even go and compare what we're doing right now to The View, where it's, Five women talking, mm. and they start talking over. It. It's like, no, 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 yeah, you stop right there. I was just talking right exactly. now. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. And, then, and then, like, Matt will say something, and I'll say something sassy about, like, oh, well, at least I'm not this. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's and then you're gonna me. go tweet something. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Bottom line is, we love man friendships. Yeah, 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 yeah we do. Uh, take no mistake, ladies that are watching, um, we do have Facebooks, and we do also love women friendships. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, do. and you can find those are single, and you can find those in our description. 
somewhere. It's down there. It's not down up here. here. It's down it's there. Not it's down there. there. So it's down. So what's up here? I'm here. 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 I'm here. here. You can type in www.facebook.com and find us. <laughs> you can also, you you can also share there. this on your Facebook. Page. Yes. You get us oh, let's share this. That's like right. Yes. That's great. And yes. you subscribe up there. I, I, I suppose we're now gonna end the show. Oh.